So we're driving from Vajo de Lid to Chichen Itza and we just happened upon this distillery of tequila and agave. So we're gonna kind of check it out and just look at it, pretty cool. First time Christian's ever seen it. I've seen them before, but it's still cool because I haven't seen it in a really long time. So kind of nice thing to just surprise and come up on. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you wanna see more from us, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Chichen Itza. It is a very famous Mayan pyramid, Mayan ruins. Everybody knows about it that comes to this area. A lot of travelers visit it. It's very popular. So I'm excited to see it now that they've just opened the ruins just like two weeks ago. They've opened Me ruins again here in Mexico. So I'm excited to see it. Hopefully there's not that many tourists like we've been experiencing and everywhere else in Mexico. So excited to take advantage of that. And we're only about a 45 minute drive from the last city that we were in. So we're only about a 45 minute drive from Valladolid was the last city that we just left. So we're actually gonna go to Chichen Itza, which is the famous site of the Mayan ruins where the Mayan people lived once a long time ago. But there's actual a city there as well. It's called Chichen Itza. So we're gonna be staying there. And there's a lot of other things to do around there as far as zip lining and cenotes and just cenotes in general and some other touristy things but also a lot of nature so we're going to explore a couple different things there and i'm excited to head that way now make sure to follow our social media accounts where we'll be posting more content related to this youtube channel passing the Veja Zoo and this is the zoo here in town. I know it's also like a point of reference for tourists. I'm not sure how many tourists are there right now but it's just something that you can do. It's a little bit outside on the outskirts of the main downtown of the city. and I'm noticing on the way the road highway to Chichen Itza all of a sudden it changes to all these little towns that are kind of spread out along this main road and I'm noticing right away all of the tourism gifts that they sell on the side of the street or the little shops there's a ton of them it's back to kind of selling more of the same thing in every single shop and it's all has to do with Chichen Itza so it's interesting how you can tell right away that this is kind of what they you know make their money on it's what they survive on is tourism from Chichen Itza and I feel kind of bad because there really is hardly any tourists here and they just jump when they see a car any car and then especially a tourist and I just wish I could stop at every single one and you know buy something from from all of them to support them to help the economy to you know help feed these people and their families but it's impossible there's so many of them it's like one right after the other so it's just the reality of it but hopefully uh, things get better soon for them and for everybody else
So here is our little but nice hotel room in Peace Day. This is right next to Chichen Itza, so we'll be staying here. Very nice decor, everything looks new. The shower. Bathroom. We have a flat screen TV. A fan, air conditioning, very important in these hot days in Mexico. And best of all, we have the best view in the whole hotel. It's a beautiful pool view. Okay, so we just checked into our hotel and we see that there is an OXO right here. No, gracias. So we are going to check it out. No, <laughs> gracias. They just come out from everywhere. There's a lot of them. So these are definitely some Mexican candies. Oh, this is like candy. They basically make this whole thing out of peanuts. They like these little like dulce sweet things. Have you noticed that? This is very Mexican style dessert. What is this? Like a little, it's like almost like a little hard waffle with some, um, what do you call it? Like a wafers with goat milk candy. It says right there, it's traditional. So these are things you do not find in the US. Soft milk candy with dulce de leche. Yeah, they love dulce de leche. Latin countries usually do. Hi, little boy. Hi. Hi. Hi, little guy. Are you hungry? You want food? He's looking at your ice cream. <laughs> You want that ice cream? Ask him to share the ice cream with you. Yeah. <laughs> Amor right. doesn't share ice cream. <laughs> it has milk on it. I'm joking anyway. Joking. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Make him happy. No, but if you don't want, I want. But you want it, or you don't want it anymore. He's making me feel awful. <laughs> oh no, there's another one now. Why don't know? I think the ladder. The thing is full. <laughs> just, just eat it anymore. And look, there's another one. No, there's two. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Here, I leave you with one more video to watch. Just click the photo on the left-hand side. Enjoy!